Okay, in this video, I'm going to set up Prometheus to query an actual SNMP device, and this time being my Cisco switch. Earlier on, I said the main reason to use SNMP in Prometheus is in the situations where you cannot install a node exporter on the device, and common devices where you cannot install node exporters are routers, switches, printers, network storage devices, and other devices you might find on a network. Okay, so my switch is a 24-port Cisco Catalyst 2950. It's one of those. They are quite cheap from eBay if you wanted to get yourself one of those. I don't recommend them in today's world, but they're good for learning. They're not very fast, and they use a lot of electricity. Before I will configure Prometheus to query the SNMP from this switch, I have ensured that the switch is working, and it's connected, and I can do certain things. So... Number one, it needs to have SNMP enabled. So your device needs to support SNMP and you will need a default gateway set on it as well. So I've set my default gateway to be the IP address of my main network router that is connected to the internet. So it looks a little bit like this. This is my Prometheus server on the internet or a different network than my switch. But between my switch and my Prometheus server, I have another router, which is my internet broadband router. And I've configured an external rule to allow requests to port 161 onto the Cisco switch internal 192.168.1.1. Okay, so I have several devices connected to that switch and that's my internal network. So to show that my switch is actually configured, I'm going to tell net onto it. So... And do show config this is a cisco switch so if you have a cisco switch you'll recognize those commands you'll have to refer to your device's documentation for the actual commands to use for your device but anyway if i just scroll down a little bit we can see here i have interface vlan1 set up ip address 192.168.1.1 that's the ip address of my switch on my internal network and it has a default gateway set of 192.168.1.254. That is my router which can access the internet. And I have a community set up which has the name public and it is read only. So I can do SNMP queries to this SNMP device from the external network that that is providing access to, which is the internet in my case. So if I just exit that. Okay. So since my prometheus server will be doing the snmp queries i need to make sure at least that snmp walk and snmp get works from that prometheus server okay so i've ssh'd onto my prometheus server let's try this one snmp walk now to change the ip address to my external ip address the one that this router is accessible via which happens to be currently that IP address. So if I just press enter, okay, so it has done an SNMP walk on my switch from my Prometheus server, and it's told me that it's a Cisco, well, that's the name. There's some more information. And these are the OIDs, there, there, etc. So that works. And the SNMP get would work as well, because that's one of the OIDs that I just queried, just up there, that I got back in the walk. Anyway, so that is good. I can verify that my Prometheus server can query SNMP on my Cisco switch, which is on the internal network. Now, we should configure the YML for Prometheus and tell it about this new IP address, which is up there. So open up the Prometheus YML, okay, scroll down, and very, very quickly, I can add a new scrape target, pressing spaces, just in there. That's the IP address. SNMP metrics, SNMP, it's using the IFMIB module. The IFMIB module is the most generic module that you can use for SNMP devices. So at least start there. Okay, so save that. Control X, yes. I can verify the syntax is okay using the prompt tool. Yep. Restart. There we go. Check its status. It's all good. And let's view that in prometheus now okay so i'm logging onto my prometheus server status targets and down here at the bottom that's the new target i just added there 
86 one. Okay, so it's working, state is up. We can now query that in Prometheus graphs. First one we can try is if in octets. There we go, execute. And it is showing me a new metric for every single interface on my switch. So there is 10, 11, 12, 13, you know, 3, 4, 5, etc. And there is also one for VLAN 1. There we go, total VLAN 1, if in octets. And values we can see here for which interface 2 has that many in octets. 3 and 4 have that many in octets so far. And these are just counters showing how many, how much data has been transferred. If our octets, there we go. So that's working, that's very good. My Prometheus server is querying the switch. So we have this Prometheus SNMP exporter and it's querying one of my switches on my network. And this time it's an external network, so I had to create the extra firewall rule on my router here. Anyway, so since I installed Grafana in an earlier video, I'm going to view this now in Grafana. Okay, so my Grafana server already has a Prometheus data source set up. And if I go to explore and I type in SNMP duration seconds, for example, I'll see a new row for my new router there. So I have a lot of extra properties I can query. If in octets, run query. And there we go, it's showing me all the in octets as a table on here. So rather than using the Explorer here, we can create a dashboard here that is already set up to query the ifmib module through the SNMP exporter. And to find that, that's on the Grafana community. I have a link down here. We'll look for data sources Prometheus. Type in if ib. There we go. SNMP stats for the SNMP exporter. So let's look at that. And that's the ID there, 11169. So I'll copy that. But this is what it will look like. So somebody's already created that for us. This user here. Thank you. So we shall thank Deresmos. So now copy that ID. So copy to clipboard. Back into Grafana. Import. Put that ID. Load. And it has pulled the SNMP stats information for us. Connected to the Prometheus data source. Import. And straight away, we have a dashboard for all our SNMP devices that we can access through the SNMP exporter. So this is early days. After a day or two, this will look much more interesting, but I can see all my interfaces here for my switch. These are the if in octets, out octets, and out in as a graph down here. Anyway, so Grafana is another larger subject if you're interested, but there's enough information in there to experiment and make sense of what's actually going on for example very very good okay so now i've set up my cisco switch in prometheus now that was a very easy device to set up when i configured it in the yml here prometheus yml i have one job name snmp and it's using the module ifmib and all these three targets are all using the ifmib the most generic module that the SNMP exporter can use. If I look at the SNMP YML, that's the ifmib there. And they are the OIDs that it's walking and getting. Now, if you have a different kind of device, for example, you might have a Cisco WLC or a Raritan or even a printer that you want to connect to, you would use the printer MIB module or Raritan module or anything else that is more appropriate to your device. I'm using ifmib, it's the most generic. I think every SNMP device that you'll find will at least support those OIDs. So in that case, that's the module there. You can create a new job name, for example. You could edit this to use a different module. I've set this up in a very minimal way, so, but as you can see, I'm getting useful information now from that. Okay, so that's SNMP for a dedicated hardware device. Excellent.